this is our Halloween babes and booze sew along. And I'm going to show you how I do this. Not going to make you watch me do the whole thing. I just want to show you the basics. And I'll put up some pictures here for you of the coloring pages that I actually use. That I have moved my needle to the outside of the embroidery piece. Just very carefully going along the tail of my cat. I'm doing a very small stitch today, and all the needles are all the pins are in here for is to keep my backing fabric, which I'm using instead of interfacing or stabilizer attached to the quilt. What I want you to see right here is I'm keeping this edge of my presser foot lined up with this edge of my fabric. That's to make sure that everything gets stitched down and I don't miss another spot like I did earlier. I don't know where my surgical scissors went. I'm irritated about that. I'm irritated with the maid. And you know who the maid is, right? Me. Somehow my maid lost my surgical scissors or put them away somewhere that I'm not able to find. So now that we've done the whole cat, did a poor job around that little toe, but it will quilt out. <laughs> so the cat's done except for his eyes. 
And what I'm going to do around his eyes is I'm going to go down to a two on width down even more on the length of my stitch. And I'm going to go right around his eyes. Cut my threads. Making sure I have bottom thread in there. That's the little pupil of his eye. Give you the same over here. And that is how you applique around a curved edge. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do applique around the pumpkin and the witch hat. And when it's all done, I will show it to you in speed. But when it's all done, then we will come back and I'll show you what it looks like.